Hi and welcome to Beach Bumbling. Today we're going to bumble around the Memories Carib Resort in Keokoko. We'll show you what we did there on our first day and what we ate. We'll walk you through the curveball we had on our travels to get there. And if you like gorgeous beaches and sandbars, you're going to want to stay tuned. Let's go! Hey, how's it going? Today we are on our way to Cayo Coco, Cuba. We've never been there before. And uh, for reasons we're just not gonna get into, we are going to London to drop off our vehicle at the airport there. And then we are gonna catch a bus to Toronto. And then we'll get on a plane in Toronto, fly to Cuba, and then come home uh, to London. It's just what we have to do today. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Thoughts of it? It's gonna be a long day. Hopefully it's worth it. Yeah. Hey, just something to know. For some reason, if you need to get from uh, London Airport to Toronto Airport by ground, um, Robert Q was uh, buck, or 130 apiece for Karen and I if we would've went that way. But we could've taken this taxi here behind me, according to him, for 250, and that would be private. So I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. But, Robert uh, Q's really gone up. So, I, I, I think he's yeah. a cheaper option now. I don't think so much. Yeah, he will. Anyway, I just thought that was useful information. Two tickets for two adults is about 43 bucks to go from Fanshawe College in London to Pearson Airport, which is pretty cheap if they actually showed up, which is why we're in the back of a car. All right, so we booked through Book a Ride, a uh, ride from the basically Fanshawe College in London to Terminal 1 in uh, Toronto Airport at Pearson, and our bus never showed up. Uh, it was supposed to pick us up at 10.45. You were supposed to be able to track where the bus was. You couldn't for the longest time. And then finally, I got an email notification saying the bus was moving on its route. And uh, I was able to track it then. And next thing you know, it's, it's already past London on its way to Dorchester and to Toronto after that. So I ended up having a huge lift. I got a good driver here. I made 196 or let's call it 200 bucks to get to the airport. Now I know the cab driver said he was 250 and Robert Q would have been 260, so let's uh, might want to check out Lyft if you can have used it. But yeah, not a good start to the day today. And uh, that was about 200 bucks <laughs> that we didn't plan on spending today. And now our plane's delayed an hour, um, so that's not the end of the world as long as it stays an hour. So we had to take a cab from the London airport to the bus stop. And we'll have to take a cab from Kayakoko Airport to our resort. So a bit of a shit show to start this whole thing off, but uh, I'm sure it'll turn around. The weather's supposed to be really nice down there, so we're looking forward to getting down there. It's just taking a really long time for us to get there. Anyway, that's what's going on. The plane was only delayed about 45 minutes, so that wasn't too bad. We had a couple sandwiches at La Place in the airport. That was 31 Canadian. So we boarded the plane, had a couple Caesars, that was like 20 bucks Canadian. Caught a nice sunset along the way and in about three and a half hours we were in Cuba. After a 20 minute cab ride we were at the resort, so we checked in, went to our room, didn't like it, went to a second room to check it in. Our memories creep, we got 24-12. We actually booked a lake room, view room, but uh, it was on the ground floor, we hate ground floor, so we ended up uh, taking a lesser room category actually to get on a Second floor, and I actually think it's a little bit nicer room. It doesn't stink. The other one had a little bit of a musk to it, and not in a good way. Anyway, this is our hotel room. You can check out the full room tour on our channel, but I will note how dark our room was in the bedroom part. I don't know if maybe this is the sexy mood lighting. It's as bright as it gets in here. I would hope not. Looks like you're eating at the keg. Get yourself, uh, if you could see that, you got yourself a couch. A bed. Oh, yes. We got settled in the room, then went down to Bites, had a couple drinks, a snack, called it a day. We could not wait to get up and check out that water in the morning. Good morning. We are here at the Mediterranean restaurant, which is the Diamond Club's uh, place for breakfast and stuff like that. So we've got a couple omelets coming. And you order the omelets, and then uh, they've got a little station off to the side that you can get stuff. And you can get a mimosa here in the morning. 
and it's pretty, I don't know, we haven't tried the food yet, but uh, we got up a little bit late today. That's what it looks like, Bill. Here's today's offering. Ham and cheese omelet, some hot dog on the side. We just got a cheese omelet over there. Got some mango juice. And a coffee. The price of that was nothing since we already paid for it. <laughs> some champagne, some mango juice, uh, rice pudding, I think. Some fresh fruits. Cheeses. Cereals. Veggies. That is the Diamond Club breakfast. This is a disco, I think. Or is this a sports bar? Here. Oh. I think it's one in the same one. As we said in our walk around video, we had never seen this bar open, not once. So we asked our viewers if anybody would seen it open, and Marsha reached out and said it was open every night, and that she was there. So thank you, Marsha. So you see all these buildings are numbered. We're in 24. You can't make the assumption that all the even numbers are on one side and the other on the other because it just doesn't work out that way. Which is, whatever, who cares? We're, like I said, we're in 24, which is actually, what, two buildings down there. So we haven't accomplished a lot yet. We got in really late last night. Uh, we managed to get a breakfast this morning, but that's about it so far. She's having a coffee back there. I'm going back to the room to grab something. Karen didn't try Beans Cafe, but of all the other restaurants, she liked the coffee the best at Bites. I'm trying to figure out what those two people are doing there. They've been sitting there with something over their mouth and nose more than they haven't been. I have absolutely no idea. Not sure what's going on. Alright, so we're the Diamond Club. We got a bar that way. We got a food snack right behind me. And at that bar, you've got a lot more booze options than you do at the non-diamond club. So they had tequila at this one, they had no tequila at that one, but they did have tequila down at the snack bar yesterday. So yeah, I'm drinking tequila in Cuba instead of rum. But uh, and I like rum, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, it is not very nice out today. It's very windy, which is kind of kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, Diamond Club, if you are a drinker, you might want to consider it just for that reason. You're going to see Karen over there. When she's had a couple drinks, she changes her name to Kathy, Chatty Kathy. It's not going to be someone that you don't meet within five or six groups around us in a circle. <laughs> Right, we're at the Diamond Club restaurant right at the beach and uh, we got chicken salad sandwiches today and they normally comes with fries but I think they're out so we got chicken nuggets instead with it. Yeah. Chicken salad's pretty good. I never eat it at home but it's pretty good. And over there, he's got some pork coming up, some chicken and some tilapia on the grill so we'll try some of that too. All right, so we got some barbecue. I'll we'll show you what that looks like. What do you got? I got, I got, I got, I got. You got some chicken, pork, fish, tilapia, yeah, and just vegetables and rice. Yeah. Right? Rice. You do this every day? Every day? Every day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? What's your name? Edgar. Edgar. All right. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you too.
So we walked out of the resort and we went right down the beach. And after about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, I don't know if this is normal, but there's a lot of seaweed here. It does not look like that in front of our resort. So I don't know if they clean it up or if it's just not there, they must. Termite nest, huge. If you do not know what this is. If you do, please leave it in the comments. We took a break from our beach day to go up front to see the Sunwing rep. We we're gonna look at some excursions, but we just missed them. But who we did see was entertainment group dancing around the pool. Bust the move. And now back to our regularly scheduled beach day. Came back to the room at. Sorry, I didn't know you were talking to me. What? Oh. What time did we come back to the room? When? Last night. 1.30? 1.30. Yeah, I walked up. And we went to the body. Yeah. And then the clock. He's walking down the side. Like the only thing. Yeah. I am not an animal! It turns out that Karen was talking about this pelican named Fico that's got a broken wing that lives on the resort. All right, it's about 5.30 tides going out and this is the people behind me take a look at how shallow it is that's Karen out there that's how far out from the shore I am that water was absolutely amazing and if you want to see the rest of the beach walk through the sandbar check out the next video on our channel by the time we got back to the beach walk, the beach bar had closed. That kind of sucked. It closes at 4 just for future reference. You can maybe get a drink till 4.30 through the side door. We had an a la carte at the Italian tonight, and that conflicted with the sunset pretty much. So we just caught the tail end of it right before reservation. All right, we are at uh, Bella Cucina, which is the Italian restaurant here at the resort. And I'll show you the menu. And we haven't ordered yet, but I'll tell you what we're gonna get. I'm gonna try the Neapolitan chicken, some bruschettas, and Karen's gonna get uh, pasta, some kind of way. <laughs> <Short game. laughs> this is uh, part of the all inclusive. Well, we just had the world's smallest order of bruschetta. They are both the size of a teeny. We had one with hot dog on it. One with Parmesan and then what's the other one? Kind of a salsa? Cucumber. Cucumber salsa. salsa. The winner for me was the hot dog one, believe it or not. Which one did you make? I haven't tried them all yet, but I think it's cute they cut up a hot dog and try to make it look fancy. <laughs> all right, I'll show you what the mains look like. This is the chicken soup. Looks good. Here's my Neapolitan chicken. It came with a cabbage vegetable mix and a pumpkin smear in the plate. It was okay. What'd you get? Carbonara? Mm. Yeah. What'd you think of the wine? I've had worse. Cuba, two things you can count on, I feel like, after being here twice, is the coffee is good and the wine's pretty good. <laughs> The waiter's name that we had in the Italian was Ibrahim, I-B-R-H-I-N. Great waiter. You get him the lucky. That's it for today. Until next time, cheers. I don't think that barbecue guy's name was Edgar. I think it was Hector. But he was too polite to tell me different.